Hallo, hallo, Mike Test. Okay guys, one minute is gone and you can see the last candle is now changed to 1040, right? And the last one here, it was 1039. So yes, we are extracting real time prices from MT5 into Python and everything is for free. Hello financial programmers, I'm Ritwik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. This is the fourth video of this playlist, which is on exploring MT5. In the first video, I talked about how to use TradingView alert webhook functionality to connect with uh, MT5 and then make a trading board. In the second video, we explored the uh, MT5 Python package uh, in order to, uh, to extract some financial data for free in Python. In the third video, we made a full-fledged uh, trading board on Python using MT5 and uh, that's the reason actually I'm making this fourth video because in the last video I got many comments that I explained a lot of information in just one video so I just split some um, crucial things in some other videos as well so this is the this is the fourth video and the next video will be about how to send a uh, buy or sell orders uh, on MT5 using Python so the main idea of these two videos is to go very deeper into uh, these functionalities uh, which actually will help you a lot to make a trading board using MT5 and Python. So yes guys in this video we'll learn how to extract some real time stock price information on Python from MT5 platform and if you remember in the first video I made this IC markets MT5 as my backend um, you can have some other broker as well and I highly recommend you to watch my first video if you want to learn how to uh, download and integrate and log in uh, into MT5 terminal. So yes guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel on this uh, channel, I turn all my viewers into successful financial programmers. Here I upload videos related to trading boards, implementation of AI in finance, using some highly valuable finance APIs, making some pine script trading strategies, etc, etc. So if this is something that you are interested in, then you should just click on the subscribe button down below and also hit on the bell icon because there is a lot of free content that will be coming on my YouTube channel every Saturday. I have many playlists in my mind right now. So yes, guys, subscribe to stay tuned. So what are the topics that we are going to cover uh, in this video where we are learning uh, how to get uh, real time stock data in Python using MT5. So the first thing is that we will be exploring the MT5 Python package. The second is we'll learn how to authenticate it. The third is we'll be using the copy rates range function to extract OHLC data. And the final thing is that we'll be extracting real time data through a for loop on copy rates range function only. So yeah, uh, I'm not using WebSocket here to extract uh, real time data. I'm just making a loop uh, and uh, extracting historical data only. So by saying historical data, I mean, it gives us all the data till the last candle. So for example, if you have one minute candle, so it will have all the data till the last minute itself. So if we have a for loop, which triggers the API every minute, then you can actually extract the real time prices as well. So we'll learn how to do it in the most efficient way in this video. I recommend you guys to write the code with me. And even if you uh, are not writing it, it's not a big deal because in the end, I'll uh, save this code in my Google Drive and I'll tell you how uh, you can become my Google Drive community member. Okay, so without any further ado, let's start. If we Google MT5 Python package, this is the first link that I got, which is of pypi.org. And from here, we can see uh, how to install the MetaTrader 5 package, which is pip install MT5. Just click here, it will copy it to the, to the clipboard. If you scroll down a bit, uh, it will tell you all the information about MetaTrader platform. For full documentation, we can click here. And I'll open it in a different tab. So yeah, this is the entire documentation of MT5 Python package. So the first thing is to install uh, MT5. Just go here and uh, paste this um, code, which is pip install metatrader5. Just understand that it is case sensitive. So it's M and T is in upper uh, case. So when we run it, it will install the library. In my case, it's already satisfied. So it's not gonna install it, uh, I would say, uh, in my case, because yeah. Now how to import it, import metatrader5 as MT. I'll also import date time. Actually, let's do one thing. I'll uh, import from date time, import date time, right? This will be used to um, provide the, uh, a particular date uh, while extracting the OHLC data. Okay, so if you go to the documentation, you'll see there are 
like several functions that we can use in this particular Python package, right? So initialize, login, shutdown, version. And these are of, I think, no use for me. Uh, symbol info, uh, if you remember, I already mentioned about symbol, symbol info in the second video. So let's not go into it because I'm uh, interested to extract the real time prices. So copy rates from is something that is uh, interesting. Copy rates range is the one that we'll be using. Um, and then orders, send, check, and all these things will be covered in the next video. And that's it. So yeah, this is the only function copy rates range is the one that we are going to use it. It is actually used to get bars in the specific date range from MetaTrader 5 terminal, right? So the first thing that we need to do here is empty dot initialize, right? It will actually open the MT5 platform or MT5 terminal if it's not already opened. So yes, in my case, yeah, it got opened here and you can see that this is the entire platform. I'll repeat guys, if you want to know how to log into this particular platform, then you should watch my first video because it's a bit complicated and it's, it's different for different brokers. We have to make the authentication on Python as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'll provide my login details. Login is uh, account is this one. Password is this one and server is this one, right? This is the information that I got in email address again covered in video one. Now I'll just do a, uh, empty dot login and inside this I'll provide login comma password comma server, right? If I run this, it will tell me true. And yes, the, uh, uh, I would say the Python empty five uh, package is now connected with the terminal. Perfect. So let's straight jump into the OHLC prices. So prices is equal to empty dot copy. I press tab and it showed me all the different things that I can use. So I am going to use the copy rates range function inside this. Let's come back to our uh, documentation. If you click on copy rates range, it will give you the entire detail information about this particular function. Get bars in the specific day, uh, date range from MetaTrader 5 terminal. What are the things which are provided inside it as inputs? Symbol, time frame, from uh, date from and date to. So I'll, I'll just copy this entire thing. Let's just copy this entire section. Let's come here. I'll paste it like this one. I will have to delete these things, right? Also, I'll just provide everything inside uh, is, uh, in just one line. So yes, it's done. Now, symbol is basically the ticker of uh, the company and uh, uh, the, the symbol or the ticker of the company depends on the broker that we are using, right? So if you go on the MetaTrader platform, just click on this, uh, the golden dollar button. And over here, for example, if I want to search for say Tesla, the ticker for Tesla is TSLA.NAS, right? It will be different for you because it's different for different brokers. If we search on, like currently it's not a um, US uh, market time, so I cannot uh, extract real time prices of Tesla's, but let's do it for Bitcoin USD. So BTC USD, yeah, it's uh, the market which runs 24 seven. So yes, I'm going to use BTC USD as symbol. Let's come back here and here I'll provide, I'll make some space here and let's provide symbol is equal to BTC USD simple and here I'll just provide symbol is equal to simple. Now the second thing is time frame. So what is time frame? Time frame is basically the um, the interval um, data that we would like to extract. So for example, are you looking for one minute interval data or one hour or 30 minutes, one day and so on, right? So let's see, let's go back to our uh, documentation here uh, and uh, I'll just uh, check on the type of intervals which are available here. Yeah. So in this time frame, the bars are requested for set by a value from the time frame enumeration required unnamed parameter. So let's see what it is. Yeah. So these are the different time frames which are available for us. Time frame M1 is for one minute, time frame M2 for two minutes, and so on till 30 minutes, right? Time frame M30 is for 30 minutes. Then H1, H2, H3, H4 is for one hour, two hour, and so on. We have one day and one week as well. Oh, there's one month as well, which is MN1. I think let's uh, just extract one minute um, information. So I'll just copy this one. Let's come back to our uh, Python code. I'll just write empty and then press tab. I'll paste it like this one. Let's see if we have pasted it correctly. So time frame and then I just press tab. It showed me all different uh, functions that I can use. I click on this one and that's it. So time frame is now equal to time frame, which I provided over here. Now date from uh, for this, I will just use date time function 
right inside this let's just provide today's date which is uh, 24th of july so it will give me all the data one minute interval data of bitcoin from like today's date itself so i'll get everything uh, for today's date and date 2 is equal to date time dot now right so i'll just uh, write from date time is equal uh, date date from is equal to date from and date 2 is e also equal to is equal to date 2 perfect let's run this cell let's see if there is any yeah there we have an error here which is copy reads range takes no keyword arguments so i think let's just delete all these things and let's just provide everything directly only and let's run this i think yeah it's perfect now prices if you see we have got no prices so let me just uh, change it to 23 for example yeah so from last day till today we have these many prices it's an array here um, and uh, we'll have to convert it into pandas data frame so i'll just uh, come here in the beginning i'll also write import pandas as pd let's run this let's come down a bit and here i would like to provide everything inside inside pandas data frame right so yeah here we go so we have a table now of open high low close uh, and uh, the first one is a timestamp column we'll have to convert this into date time or a readable format right so let's just uh, replace this with the date time format so i'll just write pd dot two press press tab and it will recommend us to date time and then inside this i just need to provide prices time so basically it will convert this particular uh, column into date time and then unit is equal to s so i want it in seconds let's run this and you will see that uh, we have got the real time prices um, of uh, bitcoin right and this price is till 10 18 right of 24th of july 2023 so i'll wait for one minute and uh, let's see i'll uh, i'll run it again and if we have another row which is 10 19 then yes it is actually giving us real time data then i just need to create a for loop which will wait for every 60 seconds and it will keep on um i would say running this particular uh api every minute to extract the real time prices so yes guys one minute is gone i'll just come here i'll run it again and let's see what are the prices and you'll see that the last row is of 10 19 and this is the data as of the last handle um, so yeah it is not uh, streaming real-time data directly because it requires something like websocket i made a video on websocket uh, of uh, financial modeling pre uh, prep api um, if you would like to see how to use WebSockets, then you should watch that video. I also made a video on uh, using WebSocket on uh, Binance API of, I would say, a couple of years back or something like that. If you want to know that as well, you can watch that video as well. But in this case, I'm not going very uh, complicated. I'm extracting the historical prices only. But in order to make it real time, now I will actually make a for loop here, which will keep on running every 60 seconds. Just uh, before that, guys, I have a very important information to share. Recently, I launched a course on uh, Python for financial programming. So if you are trying to learn Python for finance from scratch, then this is something that you might be interested in. Just go to my website, which is fpritvik.com slash Python. Over here, you will see two buttons, Indian candidates, non-Indian candidates. So you can click as per your uh, location. It will redirect you to this, the main website where the entire course information is available. You'll see that uh, there are five sessions, 10 chapters, 22 videos, 10 quizzes and three assignments with two live projects. And uh, uh, this is the entire syllabus of this course for all the people who are interested to learn Python from scratch and who are struggling learning Python on their own. I highly recommend it because uh, it's very, very affordable and I have covered a lot of things from a very, very simplistic eyesight. And in the end, in session four and five, you'll see stock analysis and investment portfolio creation projects, which are my personal projects. We did it using some financial analysis. If you use RTK40 code, uh, you'll get an instant 40% discount, which is only available for the first 100 candidates. So yes, guys, I'll see you in the course. Let's come back to our code. So I'll just copy this and paste it here or actually it's not required i'll what i'll do here is yeah we can make a for loop here itself so let's just come here i'll just write a for loop for i in range let's do it for 100 candles for example right you can increase it to say 1 million we can actually do 1 million right i just want it to be running forever although i will uh, interrupt it in some time so 
yeah, uh, range is from I for I in range, uh, and this is the one million. So it will extract the prices, right? It will convert the time into date time format, and uh, let's print the last three candles, right? So um, actually, we can do it by just writing say minus three and then colon. So through this, it it, it actually gives us the last three candles. I just copy and paste it here right and here i'm going to use another uh, library called time right and i'll you use it to sleep the code for every 60 seconds so let's do one thing i'll just delete the last three one because i i want to display all of them only and uh, also let's do one thing i will provide btc usd here only let's not uh, make it i would say like running it on uh, variables which are provided outside because it might actually create some issues so i'll just delete all these and put everything inside the function itself and uh, <clears throat> now let's uh, run this so as of now the first the last candle is of 10:39 let's wait for 1 minute and let's see if the next candle is it should be of 10:40 right uh, this is how we actually made it so uh, basically we are iterating it uh, from 0 to 1 million right so it will be doing it for 1 million uh, minutes uh, unless and until we just stop it which i will do in some time and it will uh, keep on i would say extracting the information of bitcoin from mt5 right of one minute time interval we will convert it into date time format and then again it will wait for 60 seconds after printing the prices here so let's wait for one minute and let's see what happens okay guys one minute is gone and you can see the last candle is now changed to uh, 10 40 right and the last one here it was 10 39 now we have the uh, last candle as of 10 40 so yes we are extracting real time prices um, uh, from mt5 into python and everything is for free so yes guys i will actually stop it stop the kernel here and if you want to learn more about this functionality i used it in the last video which is on creating the trading bot and i used it in a way to uh, to replicate the streaming data and then i made the trading bot using order send and position get functions as well which actually uh, placed some orders on uh, mt5 platform so yes guys as i mentioned in the beginning um, i share my google drive access with my community members but yeah before that guys um, if you like even one thing about this video just give a like button down below because it really helps with the algorithm and i'm uploading video every saturday it takes a lot of efforts to be on it so just two clicks guys like button and also click on the subscribe button because um, uh, it will help me grow on the youtube world now how to become a google drive community member guys just go to on my youtube channel and then click on that access to my google drive button and over there you'll see you just need to follow some basic steps and uh, you can see that the cost of my google drive um, is less than a third of a coffee which is hardly anything and i'm charging this small amount of money because i hired a couple of interns who are helping me provide the best possible uh, services and the content to the community members and i'll be saving this particular code and in, uh, inside that google drive and not only this code there are many more study materials and codes that are saved on that google drive including my trading bot uh, my fine script trading strategies etc etc so yes guys just check it out the next video will be about how to send buy and sell orders on mt5 using python and, all, and also how to close those already existing positions if you want me to cover anything specific just write it in the comment section right now because i'll be recording that video very soon the link of my course is in the description box and trust me that course will help you boost your career by 10x thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end you can click here to subscribe to my youtube channel and over there you'll see this entire playlist on mt5 and over there you'll see one of my most uh, appreciated pine script trading strategy that i made a few weeks ago i'll see you in the next video next saturday which will be the last video of this playlist and, and until then peace